first because this is uh, this section here this is not democracy this is a vengeful righteous monarchy and this is who we're vengeful against today here count down top three nominees for today's worst persons in the room the bronze to anthony loyacono california businessman founder of tea party television this is a story about the tea party a tv network and baseball cards mr loyacono is being sued for 19 million dollars by six men who claim they invested nearly three hundred thousand dollars in what loyacono said was a project to develop an all tea party tv channel baseball cards one of the six plaintiffs is bill hemrick the tennessee financial director for michelle bachman and the founder of the upper deck baseball card company the defendant loya kono used to work for him in the baseball card business hemrick threw him out of the company and sued him and still went back and invested with him in a field loya kono knew nothing about television hemrick and his colleagues say loya kono simply spent their money on himself and his friends and relatives never put in his own money as he promised, used their money to outfit his own luxurious offices, overcharged them for the few business-related things he actually did, never did anything to fund the network properly, lied to them, defrauded them, was guilty of misappropriation of funds, self-dealing and corporate waste, put up a crappy website, and failed to take any steps towards getting an HD channel up and running on time. Interesting. The runner-up, Senator John McCain, F of Arizona. F. F! For his new party, effed up. McCain has once again offered legislation to hold another final corporate tax holiday in which companies that took the money they had stashed overseas and put it back into this country for a few months to take advantage of the last final corporate tax holiday under Bush would get to do it again and pay nickels on the dollar in the taxes they owe. McCain's justification. You brought $1.5 trillion back to the United States of America. It's bound to have some positive effect somewhere. I don't see how it would not. Even if they buy more yachts and corporate jets and all that, it's bound to have some effect. Good thinking, John. This is exactly the time to be defending corporations and trying to pitch the more yachts and corporate jets trickle-down theory of economics. But our winner, presidential delusion and former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum. Every elected official with the rank higher than dog catcher hands out or sponsors awards for citizens. That doesn't mean you don't have to check. The Philadelphia Inquirer notes that as Senator, Santorum sponsored one of his constituents for a Congressional Angels in Adoption Award from the Congressional Coalition on Adoption Institute. It was a man who had established a nonprofit group to serve foster children and kids in crisis. The man was, like Santorum, an alumnus of Penn State University. Its philosophy is simple, read the citation of the organization. It is easier to develop a child than to rehabilitate an adult. How prophetic. The Santorum sponsored award was given to Jerry Sandusky, the then recently retired defensive coordinator at Penn State University, who it turned out had by that time already been accused of at least five cases of child molestation and at least one of child rape. The alleged rape by Sandusky, which has been the turning point in the filing of 40 charges against Sandusky and the arrests of Penn State's athletic director and vice president and the dismissal of Penn State's president and its football coach, that took place on March 1st, 2002. Sandusky received the award for his work with children on September 24, 2002. Former Senator Rick Santorum, the sponsor of that award, today's worst person in the world. You have to check.